Hi guys, I'm Dorota Palicka, international nail artist and educator here and today we are going to be playing with some quick and easy nail art. Have we preview of it in here? Nothing over the top and I do really like creating the salon friendly designs. I hope you really enjoy it too. If you're new in here, hit the subscribe button. Also, existing subscriber guys, please hit the like button as well so the video can get like a larger audience attract to it. So let's start. So first of all, we need to start painting our background and I choose 216 color. I think it's such a pretty one um, for those type of um, designs. Like it will look absolutely amazing with this red. So apply it nice and thin, but also at the same time thick enough so I can get away with the one layer um, to save a little bit of time. So work it through it, your gel. Okay, happy with that. Give it a cook and then paint straight away another tip. Again, this is a design which you could do it on like a um, ring finger and maybe a middle finger or ring finger and index finger. And the rest you could just keep it nice, plain and simple or just slap a couple gems over it. Again, work through my gel. And then cure it. Okay, so I want to make sure it's cooked properly. On my mixing palette, uh, I'm gonna start preparing the other stuff which we're gonna need. So that's a transfer foil gel and it's an amazing one, like you can create such as awesome uh, designs with it. Some gems because we will need them and some paints. So I'm gonna use uh, white, <laughs> that was pink. Um, I like to store it like if I've got at the end. So this one will be probably used uh, later on as um, uh, maybe orange. <laughs> Um, I usually do it, if I've got the product at the end, I would just add some gel polish through it and keep it uh, in a pot. Actually, I should do maybe like a um, color spot on top of it so I do not um, confuse myself. Then we are going to put some yellow in there, just a slight touch. And I want this yellow to be very close to the white. You can even mix it, it with the white. It's just so your, uh, so your white is not pure white. That's a perfect color combination. And then some red. Again, just a small spoon of it. Fantastic. Okay, my first tip should be ready. So I'm using a UV cleanser to remove the inhibition layer. And then straight away give it a couple scratches to it. So I'm using a very gentle buffer. Is just to save the time we could apply the top coat over it. Um, I'm just doing that way because there will be lots of design going over it. Clean it and then grab our D-liner brush and start painting some nice leaves. Like a stem actually. Stem. Stem. <laughs> we are painting some stem. So I'm going on that side and just painting a very, very thin stem. Then at the end, I'm doing like a three wiggly lines. Can the camera catch it? Yes. Cool. Try to paint them as nice and thin as possible. Like I think painting like a nice and thin makes a really big um, difference when it comes to the designs. So nice and thin one and then cure it. There's gonna be a 30 seconds cure and then we are gonna do exactly the same with this one. I should cook them longer um, just to make sure my gel polish doesn't come off. So if, you, if you're gonna do that, give it a double cure uh, if you will do it, it on the clients. Probably you wouldn't be able to even do it with all of the gel polishes. Um, some of them might be too thin of the consistency and you're risking of them like not lasting. I wouldn't do it on the natural nails mm, as well, unless I've got like a thicker layer of the base gel or a fiber or an actual gel underneath. So if you're working on the natural nails with very thin base, I would just top coat it and then buff it. But I, I try to save a time. So I have already done some painting in here and then this one needs to go opposite direction so they kind of joining in.
Now at the same time I should remove my other tip because I'm just overcooking it uh, but maybe that is good because then I can show you like how amazing this gel is when it comes to transfer foil. Again depending on the thickness of the product you would cook it slightly longer, slightly shorter. I'm doing it very thin uh, so I'm cooking it uh, only 30 seconds. Then I grab some gold transfer foil one piece, second piece, and then we are going to transfer. I don't have to even clean it, the back of the foil or anything. I just go straight away into my design and you can see it, how amazing results we get every single time. So this tip has been over cured, um, but we got a really nice results. I'm just going to clean. I probably didn't remove a tiny bit of the inhibition layer I had in there. There we are. To be honest, it looks awesome just like that. <laughs> Simple design, you know. And then let's transfer it here. We just place it in there. And then clean it. Just a tiny bit and then let's move on into the next step. Since we've got the gel and my surface isn't buffed really well, um, I'm going to use the gel polishes which I've got prepared in here and then um, this is a, um, a one stroke brush level one. So I'm just pick up the lighter color in there and then the darker color in here. Mix them well, like really well. You don't want them to be too separated. Um, like I really like to work through my mixture. And then let's start painting uh, some designs in here. So I'm just touching at the angle and then pulling it. So touch at the angle and pull. Touch up the angle, pull. Do the same. And this way we get like a very delicate, nice leaves. You can make them even bigger or twist it. Another one. Mm, let's place one more in here. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. Like, don't overdo it, so give it a cure. And move on into the next one. Okay, so the next one, I want this one have more leaves. I love it, like how they come up to look pretty nice and unique. And you can do it just with like a one touch of the brush or you can just go back and do it in a two touches. That's it, like, you know, we don't want to overdo it. Then in here. So on those ones I'm doing a double movement, so I'm going up and then I'm coming back. Going up, coming back, up and back, up and back. Honestly, so pretty. To be honest, like you don't have to even do anything. You could just go like touch and you've got the leaf as well. Okay, 
I love like uh, how easy it is to paint with these uh, brushes because of their shape. And things are looking always awesome and pretty. Okay, I'm amazingly happy with this one. Give it a cook and then just swap into the base gel. So we are going to grab the base gel. And guys, if you don't have the transfer foil gel, you just have to grab it and get it yourself. Uh, we've got it on our website, uh, which will be also linked it, uh, in the description of this video. It's like a magic product. Okay, gem part, base gel. Let me move it so I each time pick up the base gel. And then we've got those red crystals collections. And I'm gonna play with those tiny ones, like the tinier, the better to create my design. So what you want to do it is just do like some dots in there, dots in there, dots in there, dots in there. A gem picker and then start picking up those crystals. So I'm pulling away the large ones and trying to pick up the smallest ones because I think it will look the prettiest with the smallest ones. This one is tiny, this one is tiny. You can place the larger one in here. That's maybe a too big. Searching the correct sizes. I've got one. That's the one I'm I'm needing. There we are. So it's slightly bigger. And we're just adding some berries. Or how would you call it? Our the beards are always always eat it Patrick we've got it on front of the house I don't know the English name for it I really have no clue for the English name of it but it's actually having those red balls right now and the beards always eat it Patrick is gonna say mountain ash oh gosh I would never come up with that idea mountain Ash. Rovan. Crazy. Rovanberry. Show me. Yeah, so it's Rovan. Mountain ash. That's that's doesn't sound right. Like. Okay, that's enough on this one. So give it a cook, and then play with the other two, and then we will add some other detail after we finish with the red gems. So again, just place them in here and in there and in here and in here. <laughs> so I'm trying to pick up all sorts of different sizes. I think it looks much better than that's why those kind of um, crystals boxes are awesome because uh, Buying all those crystals separately would cost us a fortune. So I like it. I've got them in all different sizes uh, for a different designs. Okay, one more in here. Cool, so I've got three. This one is just perfect. I need some more I would say it's pretty easy design as well to do it and looks awesome fantastic cook it and the last one
So I like to peel also my crystals like apart so this way I can just go straight away pick up the ones I needed uh, because they are turned the correct way. I've got one, two, three. And I definitely need a couple more in there. If your gems don't want to stick in, you've got not enough base. Perfect. Let's cook it. And um, once we have finished with the crystals, uh, let's place them there, as many as we can, so I don't lose them. And then swap to the caviar beads. Okay, the caviar beads I want to do is a mixture of them, because I think it will look much nicer. So base gel. And I want some in here, some in there, like kind of random, really. Uh, so let's start with the bigger ones first. Honestly, I'm just placing them like completely random. And I pick up quite a lot of base on my brush, just so the things are easier. So lots of base. And then I do encapsulate that caviar bit with the base, cook it in. So those large caviar beads, I want them to be where we've got the, oops, where we've got the gems, but also on the places where we've got branches as well. So like I would place some in here as well. So they could actually imitate on open um, berries, not berries, you know, the, the red stuff we are doing. <laughs> Fantastic, cook it. Again. So a couple here and there. Since I've got an empty space in here, I want to place some of them in here. Cook it. And then the smallest one. So you can also see, guys, the difference. Like we do, uh, they are my favorite ones for creating like um, shapes out of the caviar beads because uh, they're so, so tiny. I just love them so much. So just pick up a couple because you can place them even in between those tiniest spaces. They're so small. I think this design is so cute, like a nice combination of some painting, transfer foil, caviar beads and gems. That's enough. Don't overdo it. And then couple in here. Awesome. We can give it a cook and then apply the top coat and I can show you the finished results. I really enjoy it uh, playing with this design. I think it's absolutely fantastic. So grab the top coat. When we top coat our design, we want to go, so also things will look much prettier as well. So I, I'm top coating all my caviar beads like really well. Then I go around the crystals, give it a wee shake to it. If you're scared you might not manage to go through with the large brush, um, you could use a smaller brush to go around the crystals 
Um, usually just wiggle about and then give it a cure. Same on this one. So I can easily go through the entire, ah, I top coated the red caviar beads and then go around the crystals. So you can also see that the brush has two sides. So like one side can be really flat. So like in those places, I'm trying to pass through with the flat size of the brush. And then because we have done different direction of our stroke brushes, I'm smoothing out my top coat and I do move it about like, so I check how the light is reflect on it. Happy, happy. And then the last one, this one is so pretty. Again, you could create the nails in a nice nude color and then do this design on the ring finger. Or even just like this part, like I think it will look fantastic, like, you know, red French and then just a tiny bit coming up from the cuticle area. Um, so it's just to show you the different things and then you can incorporate that into your client the nails or your own nails. cannot believe we are like middle of August now. It's crazy how the times fly. Soon we will be doing like um, autumn, full autumn designs and then Halloween and then Christmas and then Valentine's. It's just like all over. Times fly so quick. Um, but yeah, let me show you all the designs we have created. Again, because I don't like to touch the top coat, forgive me like not touching my design properly. I don't want to spoil it. So a very gentle presses. Also excuse the condition of my hands and nails like we have been so busy still doing the things. So kind of want this set of the nails which I wear the now last me as long as possible. So what I'm doing is I'm pressing those tips with my nails. Ah. So don't touch the top coat because it's not cooked yet. Uh, but that's what we have created um, today. It looks absolutely awesome. I actually love it uh, how they turn it out. And I hope you guys really enjoyed watching this tutorial. We're sending you both huge glittery hugs and see you in the next video. Bye.